Welcome to AI News Today, your go-to source for the latest developments in artificial intelligence. I'm Alex Thompson, and I'm thrilled to be your guide through the fascinating world of AI. OpenAI is pushing adoption of GPTs, third-party apps powered by its AI models, by enabling ChatGPT users to invoke them in any chat. Starting from January 31st, paid users of ChatGPT, OpenAI's AI chatbot front-end, can bring GPTs into a conversation by typing at and selecting a GPT from the list. The chosen GPT will have an understanding of the full conversation, and different GPTs can be tagged in for different use cases and needs, jumping into the conversation with context of things that were said previously. This allows you to add relevant GPTs with the full context of the conversation, OpenAI said in a tweet. The move to make GPTs more discoverable comes weeks after the launch of the GPT Store, a marketplace for GPTs accessible through the ChatGPT dashboard. Building GPTs doesn't require coding experience, and GPTs can be as simple or complex as a developer wishes. A few available today include a trail recommender from All Trails, a code tutor from Khan Academy, and a content designer from Canva. OpenAI plans to eventually introduce monetization for developers who wish to sell access to their GPTs. But the company might have to get traffic up first. According to data from SimilarWeb, the web analytics company, custom GPTs comprise only about 2.7% of ChatGPT's worldwide web traffic so far, and custom GPT traffic has been declining month over month since November. Moderation is proving to be another challenge. In the first week of its launch, the GPT store was flooded with romantic chatbots apps, some of which were sexually suggestive, a clear violation of OpenAI's terms. Developers also rushed to make political campaigning bots, like a chatbot that impersonated U.S. presidential candidate Dean Phillips, another obvious violation. OpenAI, which claims to use a combination of human and automated review to flag GPTs, has since removed some of the offending apps. But if the volume of GPTs grows as the company's clearly hoping, one imagines that the problem is only going to become more acute. Thank you for tuning in to AI News today. Stay informed, stay curious, and don't forget to subscribe for more exciting updates from the world of artificial intelligence. Take care and keep exploring the future with us.